Hello and welcome back to MTG Burgeoning, your channel for all things magic. It is Build a Deck Tuesday and today we are going to continue building around our first ever Oathbreaker. <laughs> Hello fans of MTG Burgeoning, welcome back to another edition of Build a Deck Tuesday. And the results are in, the community has spoken, and of the five options for our very first Oathbreaker deck, nearly unanimously, the community has chosen Garrick Apex Predator. So let's take a real close look at Garrick here. He is a Planeswalker with a CMC of 7. 5 black and a green. He comes in to play with 5 loyalty counters. To plus 1 him, destroy another target Planeswalker. For the purposes of this format, that should pretty much just read destroy another target Oathbreaker. An additional plus one ability puts a 3-3 black beast creature token with death touch onto the battlefield. Let's keep in mind that that creature is death touch as that could potentially contribute to a deck archetype featuring Garrick Apex Predator. Minus three loyalty, we destroy target creature and we gain life equal to its toughness and if we're fortunate enough to get to its ultimate Big Bang ability, we remove eight loyalty counters and target opponent gets an emblem with... Whenever a creature attacks you, it gets plus five, plus five, and gains trample until end of turn. So let's keep the big bang in mind, because that is definitely something that could be considered game ending. So as we did with the selection of our Oathbreaker, we're going to do the same thing with the selection of our signature spell. I have here five different signature spells that could go along with Garrick Apex Predator, and it will be up to the community to decide. So similar to the selection of our very first Oathbreaker, leave a comment in the comment section below on which of the following signature spell you would want to see paired with Garrick and why. Tell me what you believe the synergy and interaction between the Oathbreaker and signature spell will be in addition to what your focus and or theme or archetype of the deck would be. So here are the five options for the signature spell. Again, community decides. Option number one, one of the best cards ever printed, Demonic Tutor. One in a black, search your library for a card, put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. Best tutor in the game, one in a black. Keeping in mind that we are unable to cast our signature spell without our Oathbreaker in play and under our control. So option one is Demonic Tutor. Option number two is Finale of Devastation for X and two green. It is a sorcery that reads, search your library and or graveyard for a creature card with converted mana cost of X or less and put it onto the battlefield. If you search your library this way, shuffle it, of course. If X is 10 or more, creatures you control get plus X plus X and gain haste until the end of turn. Finale of Devastation can be an absolute game-winning sorcery spell being cast right after a Garrick Apex Predator. But we will leave that for the community to decide. Option number three... Casualties of War. Another card from Ward of the Spark in back-to-back -back slots here. Casualties of War is two, two black and two green for yet another sorcery. In fact, all five options are sorceries. We can choose one or more, so it provides us with a modal sorcery spell of destruction. Destroy target artifact, destroy target creature, destroy target enchantment, destroy target land, destroy target planeswalker. Again, for the purposes of this format, that last ability could simply read destroy target oathbreaker. So option number three for the community to decide is casualties of war. Right. Option number four, and we're going back to Dominaria for this selection. We are going to show off a copy of Yogmoth's Vile Offering. 
It is four and a black and a legendary sorcery, which we should not worry too much about because, again, this is Oathbreaker, and we are unable to cast our signature spell without our Oathbreaker in play and under our control. Because a legendary sorcery means that we may only cast it if we control a legendary creature or planeswalker. So including Yawgmoth's Vile Offering in this Oathbreaker build is not going to be a hindrance at all. And what this spell does for four and a black says we can put up to one target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under our control. Notice the text. It doesn't have to be a grave, it doesn't have to be our graveyard. It's put up to one target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard, from a graveyard, onto the battlefield and under our control. And then we get to destroy up to one target creature or planeswalker. Again, for the purposes of this format, destroying one target creature or planeswalker could easily read destroy target creature or oathbreaker. And finally, it says exile Yawgmoth's vile offering. Again, we get to dance around this because this will just go right to our command zone, right to our signature spell zone, where it will then cost seven because we have already cast it once. However, we do get to skirt around the Exile Clause by returning it to the Command Zone. So I think Yawgmoth's Vile Offering with our, with our Oathbreaker of Garrick Apex Predator in the colors that we're playing would make for some very interesting synergies. So that is Yawgmoth's Vile Offering. All right, and here we are, folks. We are about to have Signature Spell Option number five, Community Decides. And what will that be? We've seen some doozies already, so let's show one that may not be considered a doozy, but for the colors we're in, could be something pretty special. And that's simply one copy of Regrowth. One in a green, return target card from our graveyard to our hand. First time we cast it, one in a green for any card. Second time we cast it, two for the tax, and then one in a green for any card from our graveyard to our hand. So to just roll this out a little bit, we cast Garrick Apex Predator, Predator. We untap, we move to our next turn, we cast Regrowth for two, and then we cast Regrowth for four. That's six total mana, and with still some mana available, we're able to do some other things. So we're going to include some Graveyard Recursion that could be repeatable because it would continue to be cast right from the command zone. And those are your options, MTG Burgeoning Community. What say you in the comment section below? Do you vote for Demonic Tutor? Do you vote for Finale of Devastation? Do you vote for Casualties of War? Do you vote for Yawgmoth's Vile Offering? Or do you vote for Regrowth? Let me know in the comment section below and your reasons for choosing it. This is MTG Burgeoning, your channel for all things magic.